Hello beautiful singers, this is Valerie White Williams and Vocal Splendor Studios and today I would like to talk to you about using a straw to help your low voice and also your speaking voice because speaking voice is usually in the low voice unless you're talking like that but I don't think that's what you guys are looking for so let's talk about the straw now you know I'm obsessed with my straws and the straws are like a magic wand to help lots of voices come into alignment. And again, this was invented by the great vocal pedagogue and voice scientist, Ingo Tizzi. I can never get his name right, but he's a dear man and I was so fortunate to meet him. So here is the straw, and this is just a general straw you can get anywhere. And just to kind of, if you haven't seen my straw videos, we're gonna use the straw kind of like a kazoo where you're gonna buzz into it. Mm. Mm. So I have other videos that share the basics of this, but you can also see the high notes, and now I'm going to talk about the low notes. Now what happens to a lot of singers is when they work so hard on their high notes, the chords kind of get this stretched out, and then when we go down to the low voice, we don't get quite the resonance that we want and need. Especially if you get all excited, then your voice gets a little bit higher and higher, Personally, this is one of my issues. I am a high note girl, and my low notes, I've really learned, needed to learn to develop them, get that relaxation, get that weight. So the straw really helps, because it will show you where you're not quite meeting the mark with the resonance. So we're gonna go down to the low voice just a bit. So I'm gonna go down, so I'm gonna start with doing some slides down low. So we'll start with that perfect fifth. We're gonna go, I can feel that low C is in a different place. So I'm gonna see if I can really resonate a bit more there. So that time I got a little more fullness through that straw. And so that straw is gonna show me where to put that resonance. And again, it's a little bit different than the high voice. So the voice is kind of like riding a bike. There's all these different gears and the voice feels and revs differently in the different gears. And so we wanna tune in to where that resonance is gonna feel. So we're gonna do this. That's a low G, and that's one of those notes that I sometimes will say in public, but not always. So I'm going to go back to the A. So you can do the pull out technique. So once you get the buzz in the straw, you pull out and see if you can get that resonation. And then a third try would be hit that straight on. Yay! So the same thing. That's really low for me, and okay, so it's kind of on my edge there. But you can see how that works to really get the full resonance, and you can feel it in the straw, and you can get the sense of where you need to feel those notes. Now, when I'm in those lower notes, I feel it kind of down here. It's kind of below the chin to get that resonance. And if I feel, see, I'm feeling the resonance is higher and I don't get the ring. So now we kind of get that drop and we get the fullness that comes in. So now if you're talking about speech or even low songs, 
what you can do is you what you call um, the speech pathologists have called this technique kind of the Charlie Brown teacher sound. So you're gonna talk. You're gonna talk in a stool. So I'm gonna talk to you in a stool and talk like this. And that's gonna get my voice feeling a little bit better. And then you know it sounds silly, but if I talk in the stool like this, if I talk in the straw like this, then it's gonna help kind of place the sound. And again, the word placement is a word that voice teachers throw out a lot. And to me, placement is something that the singer feels for themselves. If a teacher says, place it this way or place it that way, that's very subjective. And the whole goal is to work with your own voice and how it feels right to you. So the straw is an amazing tool, tool to help you it's covered with lipstick now. It's an amazing tool to help you dial in your voice and what feels right to you because it won't lie. It won't lie to you. It will tell you straight exactly. And if you have doubts, just videotape or record and you will hear the resonance change when you really allow that straw to align. When you're really going to talk and feel the straw, you're going to really feel that straw and get that resonant voice. So I suggest get your straw, work on the low notes, work on the speech and see if it makes a difference for you. All right, thanks for the likes, shares, and subscribes. I so appreciate it. Do you have any other tips about building your low voice? What has worked for you? Please leave it in the comments and I look forward to hearing from you. Have a great day and sing on.